Hi, I'm Wendell Smith, Product Marketing Manager for Stellaris ARM Cortex M Products. Today I'd like to talk to you about the evaluation kit for the Stellaris LM4F 232. It features the ARM Cortex M4F CPU core with floating point. TI designed the kit with two purposes in mind. First, we wanted to provide a flexible and functional tool for prototyping and development. Second, we wanted it to do useful work right out of the box. Let's take a quick tour of the board. We use a 144-pin Stellaris Cortex M4F device, and we bring all of that I.O. out to headers on the edge of the board, making it easy to create prototypes with your own hardware. We've also got a nice 96 by 64 color OLED display, a micro SD card slot, a USB micro AB connector for use with the on-chip USB, five user switches, and a user LED. Low power consumption is always an important design consideration. So we've included shunt resistors to measure the supply and battery current. The low power hibernate mode uses a coin cell battery on the back of the board. To make good use of the accurate 12-bit ADCs, we've included a few sensors to monitor the environment around the board. We've included a three-axis analog accelerometer to determine the board's orientation and an external temperature sensor to record the ambient temperature. The screw terminals at the right end of the board allow easy connection of your own sensors and other analog inputs. Let's take a look at the data logger application that comes preloaded with this kit. Through the configuration interface, you can select which signals to sample. Here, we don't select the screw terminals since nothing is connected to them. But we do select the three axes of the accelerometer, the external internal temperatures, and the supply current to the Stellaris MCU. We now set the sample rate, which can be as infrequent as once a day, but let's set it at 1 32nd of a second. Finally, we select where we want to store the collected data. We can choose the internal flash of the MCU, a USB flash stick attached to the eval board, or a host PC attached by USB. We'll choose the host PC. We also have the option to sleep between samples, which can bring the power consumption down to as low as 1.6 microamps. But we're not going to use that for this demonstration. So let's start sampling. Immediately, the OLED display switches to a timeline graph of all the data programmed using the Stellarisware graphics library. You can see the graph of the accelerometers move as I change orientation of the board. In the meantime, the data is also being sent to the host PC through the USB connection. We include a PC application to graphically display all the sensor data, and you can optionally output all the collected data to a CSV file. In the kit, we include a CD with all the renowned Stellarisware software, including this application, complete with all the entire source code. All of the cables and even a USB flash memory stick are included, so you can get started in 10 minutes or less. To buy your EK LM4F232 evaluation kit today, Go to ti.com slash ek-lm4f232. For more information about Stellaris Cortex-M4F, visit ti.com slash Cortex-M4F. Thank you for watching.